Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. The second in a series of videos I'm doing from the Avebury landscape. I just stopped here on the way down to Alton Bars and Honey Street because hopefully I'll get lunch at the Barge Inn. Um, but this landscape is really, really interesting. Uh, those who are very into their crop circles and some mysterious things that goes on in this uh, county. This is where it all happens, pretty much. Um, you can't see it from here, the uh, Alton Barnes White Horse, but there's uh, Adam's Grave, a Neolithic tomb at the top there. And um, it's an incredible, incredible landscape. I always get a little bit of the shivers come here because of all the things that have been told me over the years, especially up there on Knapp Hill, we were here, when we were here in 2015, we were just staring up at the sky, a bit of a night watch. And we saw the International Space Station going over, clear skies, really incredible, really incredible. Um, my friend Rob speaks quite a lot about this area. Um, and on previous videos, I really would check them out. Um, where they've had multiple witnesses of beings, crop circles happening. Uh, lights in the sky um, there's too much to mention there's too much to mention and this is one of those famous fields if you're into your crop circles and everything Eastfield so much footage of Eastfield over the last 30 years and grainy old video some good video a lot's happened in that field I mean talking of beings people seeing beings that's the way they describe them as beings um, Rob did take me down to the place where that happened um, when we were last here in 2020 and that was fascinating, utterly fascinating. We can't disclose the location because out respect for some people, which is fine. I wouldn't want to anyway and diminish the energy. So uh, yeah, this is a very, very powerful uh, energy centre. You think Avebury is, but around this area, Knapp Hill, Eastfield, it's uh, incredibly powerful. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I'll talk a little bit more about it at the Barge Inn. Um, so let's head down to Alton Prior and Alton Barnes. Let's go. And we're, uh, by the way, staying at Avebury Life in Avebury Truslow uh, for the next two nights, which would be great. It's a really, really cool place, actually. Very spiritual. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but let's head down to uh, Alton Barnes and Alton Prior. So this is All Saints Church in Alton Prior. First mention of this church is going right back to 828-ish. I love a good old blocked up door. It's now um, managed by the Church's Conservation Trust. Look at that. Um, which is amazing. Beautiful you. I think it said it's about 1700 years old they always say that, don't they? Beautiful you. Oh. I love me a good you. Here we 
it is. This church does have remnants of the old Norman church. Ooh. Bit of a whoosh about here. Lovely. This beautiful tomb here is from 1590. This gorgeous tomb, 1590. Incredible. Lots of cows in the other fields, so they can stay there. The gentleman outside with his wife, I imagine, uh, doing some photography as well. Yeah, it's right there. It's quite beautiful. So this, I assume then, is not, no longer used for worship. If it's under the Church's Conservation Trust. I just wanted to pop in here. I think it's going to be more Neolithic on this trip. I've been into a couple of churches already. Let's uh, head down into Alton Barnes and see if St Mary's is uh, open. Here we are at St Mary's in Alton Barnes. Alton Barnes, Old English for village by the stream. And it's uh, Saxon in origin, but with a Victorian makeover, <laughs> aren't they all? Well, I'm being very kind about Victorians these days and their church building. Problem with being in Wiltshire, there's so many places you want to go to. But you just can't, like one of them, Lewis, I can't fit them all in. Someone said to me, oh, why did you go to this place? I time <laughs> so I've only got limited time that's lovely never been here before the amount to say it's interesting the amount of times I've been to Avebury which is probably in the hundreds and hundreds um, a lot of the surrounding area I haven't explored that much um, but it's uh, great Although rebuilt a lot in the 18th century, the nave here still has a lot of Saxon stonework, which is very interesting. Real mishmash of styles. I say that a lot of my mishmash of styles. It's really nice. Oh, I'm getting a nice vibe in here. Nice vibe. It's grade one listed. And it's hard to see. Look at some of these crypts here. Uh, 1769 I think it is. 1745. Very hard to see in this light. Can't seem to find a light switch. Mm, very interesting. Very unusual for a church. They've actually got CCTV up there. Um, strictly no unauthorised access. Okay, I'll, I'll obey those rules. If that's what they say, that's what they say. But yeah, it's really nice. I forgot to bring out money again to get a free St Mary's Church uh, leaflet. These are really great. Talk about the Alton Barnes area as well. Damn. Why didn't I bring out a pound? Even just a pound. Yes, nice vibe in here. Very, very small church. Very small. But um, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to 
that's the gallery up there, isn't it? The gallery, is that what it's called, the gallery? Well, thank you, St Mary's. That was lovely. That's a nice little church to come into. Um, we're now going to head down to Honey Street and hopefully lunch at the Barge Inn, the centre for crop circle enthusiasts. So here we are at the Barge Inn, built in 1810. It did burn down in 1850 and rebuilt. But, um, it's great. All these narrow boats on the river. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Obviously a very popular spot. Um, but yeah, I think it's time for lunch, don't you? I think we've done a lot of exploring today. Um, let's go and have a look at the Barge Inn. I haven't been here for about four years, so that'd be lovely. So thank you Sharon and the staff for a lovely lunch at the Barge Inn, the centre for crop circle enthusiasts everywhere, as they say. Um, yeah, but really nice. I'd say well, I was last here about 2020, I think. Uh, about a lovely steak and alpine, homemade, really nice. Thank you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we will be doing more in the Avebury area, and I hope you will join us this uh, adventure as we call it and please like subscribe all that normal stuff we always do and we'll see you on the next one take care bye <laughs>